Hey, what's up, everybody? Wasted Pixels here, and today I got a game of Call of Duty Black Ops. And let me just explain this game first. This is a really old game that I found on my hard drive, so this is from like when Black Ops first came out. As you can tell by all of our levels, I think we're like not prestige level, like 38, I think is my level. Zal is only level 4, noob. But, um, yeah, I just found this on my hard drive, figured I'd make a commentary over it, because I haven't done a commentary in forever, kind of wanted to do one, and it seemed like a pretty good game, it wasn't very long, all my other games were like 11 minutes long, but uh, I will warn you that this gameplay is very defensive, I mean, I'm using an M16, and with M16s, I think you have to play a little more defensive personally, because hip fire on it is not that great, so I... For one, this is a more defensive weapon. For two, whenever I was playing this game, I didn't know the maps at all. And whenever I don't know maps, I like to take it a little slower. And not, like, run around and dive repeatedly. So, yeah. And another reason this is so defensive, if I can excuse my camping, is because it was the first time I ever put a chopper gunner on, and I really, really wanted to earn a chopper gunner. So, yeah. I end up going flawless this game. Spoilers. I think the final score is, like... 27 and 0. I don't know, you'll see at the end. <laughs> it's pretty good. First flawless, first chopper gunner. So, yeah, I'm using the M16 with Scavenger Warlord with a red dot or pink Pokeball. And a silencer with my Cheetah camo on it, my Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos camo. And my Awesome Llama emblem with my clan tag, if that's important to you. And I'm not sure what my third perk is. I think it's. Ooh, I'm gonna guess Ninja or Hacker, probably. That's my best guess. Maybe even Tactical Mask, I have no idea. But yeah, this is primarily where I stay for the rest of the game on this little hilltop. I mean, it was the only place I could find where I could cover a lot of areas, pick people off from a distance. And another disclaimer, uh, this game was recorded in theater, so if you see some wonky shots, that's why. What's happening in theater isn't always what happened on my screen. So if my accuracy looks horrible, and yet I still hit the guy, it's just the lag of the theater. So yeah, get that out of the way. <clears throat> I wanted to kind of talk about uh, the new game releases that are coming out this year. What all games are you guys excited for? Because, I mean, I know there's a few big titles coming out, like uh, Battlefield 3, which I'm personally super excited for. I cannot wait for that game because I'm a big fan of the Battlefield series. I like the multiplayer, the, all the tactical teamwork aspect of the game. So yeah, um, another big game that I'm super excited for, super duper, <laughs> is um, oh, what's it? oh Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, I believe. That game is going to be amazing because I'm a big Elder Scrolls fan. I did a few Oblivion videos back in the day and I was thinking maybe when Skyrim comes out, I could do like a let's play walkthrough type thing. So let me know if you'd like to see that. It would take a lot of time, and I'm pretty notorious for not finishing let's plays <laughs> or anything like that. So yeah, I'll definitely try to get that one done. I just get bored halfway through the game. That's why I never finish it. But yeah, let me know if you want to see that, because I'm pretty sure I won't be bored of that game for a while. I played the crap out of Oblivion. I think I have like a hundred hours in that game, so that's pretty bad. I mean, not bad for like a Call of Duty game since <laughs> I have like 20 days on Modern Warfare 2. But and I'm trying to think of some other big title. Oh, Gears of War 3. How could I forget that? That game is gonna be epic. Uh, get it? Epic. Okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> that was a bad joke. But um, yeah, I can't wait for that game. That game is gonna be awesome. And a bummer about Gears of War 3 is that the beta. What I originally you had to uh, buy the epic edition edition of uh, Bulletstorm to get the Gears of War 3 beta, but I guess Epic was like, ah, let's not do that. Let's just give it to everyone. So I think the way it's working now is everyone who bought the epic edition of Bulletstorm gets it a week ahead of everyone else. So I mean, kind of a bummer if you bought Bulletstorm just for the Gears of War 3 beta because now everyone's getting it, but. It's not so bad. I personally didn't buy Gears of War 3 just for the beta. I or er, Gears of War 3, Bulletstorm just for the beta. I bought it because it looked like a fun game, and I was right. It is a good game. 
But yeah, so Gears of War 3 is probably going to be awesome. And am I forgetting any... Oh, Homefront. Homefront comes, comes out in like a week. And I'm planning on getting that game. I'm hoping it's fun. I'm not really buying it for the multiplayer, even though I will definitely be giving the multiplayer a chance. Hoping it is awesome, because Call of Duty is getting a little repetitive at this point. I mean, I'm still having fun on it, but a new first-person shooter on multiplayer would be fun. I've been going back to Halo 3 quite a bit lately, and I need to start playing more Battlefield Bad Company 2, but um, the game's just pretty slow. <laughs> it can be... it gets boring fast. That's After like two games, you're bored of it. But yeah, I'm hoping that game's good. I'm buying it for the single player because in my opinion the story looks epic, and I am out of time. You see me camping like a bitch right at the end. Which is awesome. I was just didn't want to die, so that's why I did that. But yeah, that's the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, in the comments below, let me know what games you're looking forward to this year. Tell me if I forgot any of the big name games out there. And other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye!